ECMO is becoming more and more popular. Until 2009, I mean, until the H1N1 pandemics, ECMO was applied basically only in a very limited number of centers in, in Europe and in, and in the US. And after the H1N1 pandemic and after the publication of some randomized control trials, we have understood that ECMO is a very effective um, tool uh, for the rescue of severe hypoxemia to allow protective ventilation in ERDS patients and ultimately to improve the outcome of the patient. Until now, we, we've been told that ECMO should be applied only in experienced centers, in referral centers. And, uh, but, but now we see new ECMO centers coming up every day. And it's very important to listen to different opinions of the experts whether ECMO should be really restricted to referral centers or it could be, let's say, more a more widespread treatment applied in, in different centers in, in, in worldwide. The, the, the first expert will be Professor Paolo Pelosi, and he will be talking about should I always transport my patient to an ECMO center? There are studies showing that referring patients to ECMO centers, even if they don't go on ECMO, can be associated with improved out patient outcome. And the second presentation is by Dr. Sharon Einaf. She is an expert of methodology of science, and she is also working in, on the on the field in Israel. And her topic is only ICU or other settings. She will try to do a step forward on where should we apply ECMO only in referral centers or even outside the ICU. So you should really come to this session because uh, the experts are great. They will present different viewpoints on the application of ECMO in different settings. And because ECMO is becoming more and more popular and we really need to know which is the best environment to, to apply ECMO and in which patients. So please come to the session.